to kickstart boot camp. Today we're going to be having a look at some exercises which stimulate and activate the glutes. Now if you've had a look at part one, you should be known by now that you have to stretch off certain muscles. If you don't do this, you're not going to get the glutes working enough. So considering and taking into account that you've seen part one, we're now going to carry on with part two. We're going to start off with a simple bridge. Feet are being flat on the floor, low back tucked into the, into the ground, and the power is tilted towards you. Best way to think of it is your belt line being tucked towards your belly button. From there, you're going to ask the client to press the heels into the ground and lift the hips up. Making sure the power is tucked towards the belly button, keeping that position, holding for 10 seconds. So around about 10 seconds, drop down. A few seconds rest, straight back up for 10 seconds. When you're coming up, making sure the pelvis is tilted towards you all times. Back down, we do one more. Okay, now when you're doing this exercise, this is going to work the main parts of the glutes. You want to work the outer glutes, you can get the clients to come up on their heels, turn their feet out slightly, and that's going to start to work the outside to the bottom a little bit more. That's your first exercise. So you can do around about six sets of that, six uh, 10 seconds exercises. It will be 60 seconds of exercise, actual tension on the muscles. That's the first one. Now we can progress to a slightly harder one by using a step. Put the feet flat on the floor. Making sure the knees nice and close to the body. And it's going to lead, gradually increase your height of the hips. So, can you me? So, the hips are now going to have to come up a lot higher, meaning there's going to be more contraction of the glutes as long as you've stretched off these muscles here. Again, you can use the same principle 10 seconds exercise. Down. And again, if you wanted to get the, uh, the medial glutes, it's going to involve the side of the bump. For me, come up onto the heels, push your feet out. Again, you can start to feel that on the outside of the bottom. The last exercise and the last progression, which you want to make sure that you're really good at doing these first exercises before, otherwise, this is going to cause a whole lot of problems. Basically, going to do a single leg glute raise. So now, come up for me. See the legs in line with the other leg. It's a lot harder on these glutes. Now, the reason you want to make sure when you're doing these, drop down before I start talking. The reason you want to make sure that you got these other two exercises correct is that when you come up, come up again for me. You don't want to see a drop in the hip. Okay, so you want to keep that hip nice and level, keep it in line all the time. Rest. That's part two. How you get a great one.